Hey everyone, this is Cece and thanks for joining me for another hashtag love summer art video. So for my second canvas, I'm going to use Sennelier's pigment powders or straight up pigments or they're just powders, but essentially this is color in a powdered form and it's kind of like original state I would say. And I know that these are usually super expensive, but I just wanted you to look at this. Okay, so check this out. This was the original price. This was the liquidation price, and I bought them for 50% off of that price. I mean, seriously, this is a steal. So what you do with these pigment powders, essentially, is you can make your own paint uh, by mixing it with GAC 100 or any type of medium, gel medium, um, gesso paste. So I'm going to experiment with them. I haven't used them yet at all. So I have gesso, which I'm going to put... A copious amount of. If I have too much I can always uh, use this on some other project. So this color is ooh fluorescent blue. I wonder how it's gonna look mixed with white gesso. Let's find out. So I'm not sure if I'm grabbing too much. I have no idea. I'm going blind here guys. I've never done this before but we'll see. Okay, so I kind of have a feeling that I'm going to need a lot more than what I grabbed because so far I'm seeing a very, very light blue. Of course, if I were to mix this with GAC 100, which is just, GAC is just the um, base for any paint. So it's essentially just the plastic in the liquid form. Uh, yeah, I think I'm gonna need a lot more than that. I'm going to spread this with my palette knife. Ooh, I'm getting spat. I didn't mix this very well, and you know what? It's fine. So let's go with that. if you can tell it's tough to to get the camera to pick this up um, it's still light outside so I kind of oh yeah you can see it from down here a bit so that is the texture that I'm getting on this background which I love so yeah I'm not digging the baby blue I don't know what it is I mean it's it's fine but I think I'm going towards something pastelish and I'm not quite sure how to handle this because I didn't do pastel colors all that well you know some people are good at stuff and other people are good at other stuff. I'm more of a vivid color kind of person. <laughs> Pastel, yeah, I love it. I just can't pull it off. So, um, yesterday in the comments, some of you have been asking about this product that I put on my hands because I like to finger paint. So it's called Art Guard. It's by Winsor and Newton. You can probably find this in all good art supply stores. Okay. So I've pulled out some kind of turquoise-ish. This is the cheapy brand, like Ceramco by Delta. I shouldn't say cheapy. They're just as good, you know? It's just a different kind of finish. And the teal fluid. So, yeah. Maybe I'll drop some towards the bottom. I'm going to put some gesso on my palette to act as my white. Kind of liking what's going on here. That looks like the sea. Oh. 
That looks like the sea. Maybe I've changed my mind again. That looks like the sea. Why didn't I think of that before? Should I do a seascape? I want to go swim in that water. Maybe I'll put a cloud right above the sea line right here. Oh. Now I have four clouds. So I need to do something about that. Oh, I'm liking that. Okay, more clouds. <laughs> more clouds. Little white fluff. Maybe a formation of fluffy clouds here. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. What do you guys think? Oh, I like that. Okay. So that's, I just changed my mind. <laughs> I'm going for tropical here. So what I think I'm gonna do is do like a palm tree somewhere. I'll think about that, but I'm kind of liking that very much. And the theme is summer, right? Love summer art. So yeah, see this is, um, I love it when that happens. That piece, whoops, just dictated to me what it wants to be. I had a completely other idea in mind and because I added teal and turquoise, that thing just took a different turn. Like seriously different turn. Oh, I love that. I just thought of something. If this is going to be my waterline, I need to have it a little bit straighter and more defined. See if I can actually paint with light modeling paste. Um, I know I can do the tree trunk with a palette knife, or maybe it'll be on this side. Yeah, maybe on this side. Um, but for the leaves, or yeah, for the leaves of the trees, uh, I'm gonna have to figure this out. So let's do the trunk first. I'm going to mix the light molding paste with a little bit of I don't know. I have raw sienna here. This is again pretty old paint. I don't even know if it's good anymore, but we'll soon find out. I'll put a little bit here, mix that up. Oh, I like that. Okay. I think I'm going to mix the regular light molding paste with this. Uh, let's see here. Okay. So I'm going, I have no idea what I'm doing by the way, so I hope you're not taking too many notes. Um, so I'm going to have that tree kind of like coming this way. So let's see here. That's a big tree trunk. Yeah. And I think I'm going to mix that with white. Because I want something dimensional, like I, I don't want something um, flat. I don't do flat really well. I like to have texture and dimension on my work. That's a big trunk. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> you know what? I'm going to let that dry a little bit. What I want to do is create some kind of texture at the bottom. I have this stencil by uh, the Crafters Workshop. It's number 357S. I don't know the name of it. Um, but I'm kind of liking this. This looks like sea sponge-ish kind of motif so maybe I'll add some at the bottom here not sure what it will represent um, but uh, yeah I don't know I'm gonna use also the leftover um, brownish I'm kind of mixing a little bit just to jazz it up Ooh, 
I kind of like that. This is fine. Nice. Okay, maybe some coming off the side here. Oops. Okay, so nothing is dry, so I kind of have to be careful. I have a big glob of light modeling paste here, and I'm going to add yellow green to this. I could have taken green gold, uh, but I want to go light, and if I need to add, then I'll just add later on. Oh, I'm liking this color with that. Oh, that is awesome. <sighs> I hope this is going to work. I've never tried this before. Um... I'm going to be flicking the branches with the molding paste and then I'm going to take my palette knife and I'm going to define the leaves. So let's say the center is here. No, I'm not thick enough. Whoops. Oh, this is going to work. It'll work with the palette knife. Yeah, it looks like it's gonna work. So you see what I mean? So I'm adding the details by flicking my palette knife and just creating the actual leaves. And I don't want them to be perfect anyway, so that's great because I didn't do anything perfect. But wish I got down more here. Let's see if I can add just a little bit here. No. I'm just making a mess right now. But I'm having fun. At some point, I'm gonna have to stop. It's probably now. <laughs> I need to stop now. Okay, I think it looks better if I run my palette knife on the top part of those, um, I guess they're fronds, right? Are they palm fronds? I think they are. And that way it doesn't look so, I don't know, structured. I kind of want this to be a little bit abstract and not so detailed you know what I mean yeah I think that looks much better and I kind of want some of those branches like sticking out maybe like going in a different direction it's not easy to paint with um, modeling paste <laughs> Okay, I'm liking this better. Okay, so now I have green gold. This is um, from Golden. And I'm going to see if I can create some kind of... Whoops! I picked up a bit of white at the same time. Interesting. Some kind of contrast.
I think. I have charcoal gray here. It's another Delta Ceram Coat paint that I've had for years. I'm trying to use my stash. I want to create a little mount in there to the side here. And I think charcoal is going to be a nice neutral. So let me just kind of like unevenly. I think that looks nice. Okay, and I kind of wanted to feather out there in the water. Just try that again. Okay. I think I want the illusion of a tiny boat anchored around here. So what I want to do is kind of like maybe do a little bit, I don't know, one or many boats. And then, uh, you know, their boats at night, their masts are down. So I'm going to use, again, the charcoal. I'm just going to make like... Maybe like a catamaran of some sort. I don't think I have this correctly done, but here. Eh, that looks like a boat, sort of. <laughs> here. Yeah, that's about it. <laughs> and maybe have another one here, kind of like just off to the side here. Just so that he's not lonely. Okay, uh, black boats? Yeah, I don't think so. <laughs> Why don't you guys tell me? <laughs> I've never seen black boats like this at the beach, so I've got white. Um, what's it called? Paint? <laughs> and I'm gonna pretend that I know what I'm doing and that the black was meant to be shadows. <laughs> oh boy. Sometimes. There we go. I think that's more like it. I think that looks a little bit better. I'm going to put a lot of water in here and I think I'm going to add just a tiny bit of shadow. under the boat. I was going to keep it simple, huh? Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to put a border around this. I have a sponge here. Those are my favorite sponges. And I think I want it in white, but I don't want it shiny because uh, I don't want it to attract too much attention. I want the star to be the tree. So I think I'm going to use gesso instead of my titanium white Liquitex paint because I know that it has a little bit of a glossy finish the paint so if I use gesso then I know it'll be matte 
Now, I'm not sure this is going to work. This is an experiment because what I want to do is I want to create some sort of a an oldish vignette. So I'm going to lay down the white first and then I might go back around the edges with a little bit of charcoal gray just to make it look like, you know, the, one of those, um, those old postcards that you can pick up in souvenir shops. Um, I know I have some from Hawaii. Uh, I should look at them. I have no idea where they are. So I'm going to go with my instinct and see if that is going to work. And if it doesn't, oh well. Hmm. Do I like this? Yeah, I think I do. I want something not too, um, not too large. And I want the corners rounded. That's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to round the corners here. I think that's kind of nice. Oh, I like that. Okay. Oh, I'm excited. <laughs> you never know if it's going to work out until you try it. And you know what? If it's if you don't like it, you can always gesso over the whole thing and do it some other day. <laughs> but it's always nice when a plan comes together, however. So And I know I have some These look like um Let me zoom in. They remind me of seashells, which I didn't intend to do that, but it kind of worked out really well, so I'm kind of happy. Okay. This could also be interpreted as sea foam on the beach. See, I tell stories to myself when I, when I do canvases like that. <laughs> And it always fails, it never fails to make me feel better. So, because it's kind of like the, um, the way you want to feel when you make a piece. You want it to tell a story, right? So, if you tell yourself a story and you believe it, um, I don't know, it makes the paint more real to me. I really like that. Okay, let me give you a an all together look here. Let me zoom out there. Yeah, I like it. I was gonna add some sort of a like a squiggly line frame, but nope. I think I'm calling it done. I like it that way. All I have left to do is sign my name, and I will probably do this where the boats are. And today is the uh, 18th, July 15th. There we go. So this was my second piece for the hashtag Love Summer Art Fest or event. It could be a fest. Um, this is truly the essence of summer to me. Summer means beach. Uh, summer uh, means usually Hawaii. Um, been there a few times. I miss it. I'm not going to go back anytime soon, but I still have my memories. And uh, this is exactly the scene that I envision when I think of my trips, and it makes me happy. So I hope that you've learned a few things along the way. Uh, for me, my big experiment was painting with modeling paste. I usually use modeling paste like I did here at the bottom with a stencil. I've never really used it as a standalone except for once I think I kind of scribbled some flowers and that's what I was originally <laughs> going to do for this painting but it turned out a totally different way. The canvas uh, dictated to me what it, where it needed to go and I listened. So as usual, thank you so much for watching. Uh, if you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already done so. You can do so in my end site at the end. You'll also, you can also find me on my social medias. They are listed below. Thanks so much for watching. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them below and I will see you later. Bye.